Hi, welcome to the Monday, August 10th Upper Room Devotional with Pleasant Hill United Methodist Church. This devotion was submitted by Diana Walters from Tennessee. The scripture passage to read today is Hebrews 4, 12 to 16. The focal verse for this devotion is Hebrews 4, 6. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. This devotion is entitled, God's Help. Everything went wrong that week. Three managers usually ran the assisted living floor, but one was on maternity leave and another needed emergency heart surgery. Still, I managed all the resident and employee issues. But when two staff members called in sick, I was frantic to find enough staff. When the third employee called in sick, I broke down in tears and cried out, I can't do this anymore. A coworker from another department heard me crying and stopped to help. We talked, I cried, and she helped me piece together a plan. When I became overwhelmed, I was blind to any solution to my problem. Yet I thought I should handle it myself instead of asking for assistance. In the same way, we sometimes don't ask God for help until we're overwhelmed with our burdens and fears. We forget that we don't have to handle life on our own. I realized that I should have asked for God's guidance. After that, I began praying for God's wisdom each day. As I did so, I found I was less stressed when things didn't go as planned. I learned that I don't have to cry to get God's attention either. God hears even a whisper. Help me, Father. The thought for the day is God's help is always available to me. And how often do we, in our whispers or in our heart of hearts, cry out to God and realize that God's help is always present? The prayer focus for today is staff of assisted living facilities. Please pray with me. Thank you, God, for the availability of your help. Remind us to rely on your power instead of our own. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. I hope that your day goes beautifully. God bless you.